everyone, I'm Neela, another Pilates class for you today. So let's begin today in a standing position with the feet just underneath the hips or the fronts of the hip bones approximately. And let's just stand very tall, lower belly in and up, my usual yada yada. And lifting the sternum, take an inhale into the sides of the lungs. On the exhale, let's have a heavy head. Heavy arms. And let's go down just about as far as you feel you're getting a really good stretch. Really do keep your legs very straight. It doesn't matter how low you go. We're trying to stretch out the backs of the legs. And then take your inhale and exhale. Slowly restacking the spine, pulling your pelvis somewhat forward. The ribs go on top of the hips, shoulders, head. Inhale into the sides and exhale. Heavy head. Heavy arms like there's a magnet. You want rag doll arms. Inhale here and exhale, rolling up once more. And coming to a standing position, crown of the head reaching for the ceiling as you inhale. And exhale once again. And let's just hang out here for a minute and see the stretch you can get in your legs. Now, let's go ahead and bend the knees if you have to. And let's bend the knees to where you're in this position. I want you to stick your tail out and the crown of your head is reaching toward the opposite wall so you could have a flat back. So let's put our fingers down again, inhale, exhale, just straighten the legs. And inhale, bend. And bend the into that flat back. Let's extend the arms out by the ears and let's do five little pulses toward the heels for five. And two, and one, fingers down, inhale, exhale, straighten the legs. Good, inhale, exhale, let's roll all the way up to vertical once again. And just one last one here, inhale, exhale, rolling down. Let's walk our hands out into a plank position. And here I would like you to roll forward on your toes. Now press those heels back, stretching out your Achilles tendon, your calves, rolling forward and pressing your heels back. Make sure your wrists are right under the shoulders, except when you roll forward on the toes, of course your upper body moves forward, pressing the heels back. This time, go into your up stretch, your down dog, Open those collarbones and try to press your heels down. Let's lift one heel and then the other. I think you can still hear me because my hair is so fine. <laughs> and lifting one heel and then the other. <sighs> now coming back into that plank, let's point the toes of the right leg and reach up. And four more, three, two, and one. Let's go into your up stretch. Open that right hip and reach up. And four more, two, and one. Good, put that foot down, go back into your plank, back into your up stretch. Try to take most of the weight out of your wrist. Back into the plank, left leg reaches up. And two and one, reaching up into your up press, stretch and reach. And four, three, two and one, coming back into the plank. Once again, back into your up stretch. Let's walk the hands back to the feet. 
Inhale, exhale. Breathe, stacking the spine all the way up. Ah, so we got a nice beginning there. Let's have a seat on your mat. And once again, let's face the legs and feet apart, hip width apart. And we're gonna sit up super tall. Hold on to uh, just slightly to the backs of your thighs, right above the knees there. And really kind of exaggerate lifting that sternum, crown of the head to the ceiling, which is this part, not the upper part. You want your chin, now you want to keep your eyes parallel to the floor. So take your inhale, exhale, rolling back. Let's roll back. You can keep your hands where they are, just to the back of the waist. And then inhale, exhale, rolling up. And let's restack the spine sitting tall. Inhale, exhale, rolling back. Now, can you release your arms in eight little tiny pulses forward for eight? And four. And two. And one. Lightly place your fingers. Inhale, exhale, roll up like a little ball. Then restack. Straight line from the tailbone out through the crown of your head. Good, let's extend the arms. Inhale, exhale. Now, I'm going to reach to my left, looking at you, and we're gonna to try to level that belly button down even more and just pulse, just tiny ones. And four. And two. And one, good, back to center, fingers here. Inhale, exhale, restack the spine, sitting tall. Now we're going to roll back just like we did. Pass the tailbone, both arms go to your other side. Really try to dip that belly button down. Here we go for eight. Try to keep your shoulders down. And three more. Great. Inhale, exhale, reach back the spine sitting up. Let's extend our legs up. Make sure you have enough room behind you for your head. And now we'll roll down one vertebra at a time. Oh, and that feels good. And you can give yourself a little stretch by just reaching your arms back and stretching out the body. Now let's bring the legs into tabletop and you guessed it, the abdominals, here we go, the hundreds. Always good when those those are over. Let's roll up to the sit, seated position now, and let's scoot our bum up to our heels and do a little rolling back or rolling like a ball to massage the spine. We try just to go to the shoulders, and again keeping your collarbone open, the shoulders down. Just going to do two more. And one more. Great. All right. So once again, let's make sure we're situated. You take your inhale, exhale. Let's roll down one vertebra at a time. The right leg reaches up. Let's reach up and stretch it. You can lift your upper body here. Let's do some ankle circles. 
keeping them brief for right now. Look, put your arms down, five, cross the body for five. Keeping the head hips as stable as you can, one. Let's reverse. Three, four, and five. Let's telescope that leg out long. Let's reach the other leg up. Lift the chest and just bring that leg to you. And just a few ankle circles. Yes. Good, reaching down across the body for five. Two and one, reverse. And two and one, excellent. All right, so now let's go into our roll ups. And we're going to reach past the feet. Inhale, exhale as we roll down. Make sure the shoulder blades come down the back. And again. Oh, it feels good to stretch. And again. Now we'll come up one more time. And this time, let's go back into our roll over. Legs are over. So take the legs apart just a little bit. And we're gonna go down to the tailbone, reach the legs around and together and going over again. Ah. And coming down just to the tail. Lower the legs, bring them together and going over again. Yes. And again, going over. Now let's separate the legs just about hip width apart. And we're gonna come all the way up to seated, parting the legs more and more. So here we go. And we get a little stretch. So just reach toward the middle. And then let's reach over one leg, looking at the top of the leg. And the idea is to keep that opposite hip down. So you can also go on the outside, trying to really work those obliques. And then coming back up. Let's go back to center. Now let's reach over the other leg and stretching out on top of it. Putting that hand on the outside of the calf and giving yourself even more stretch. And once again, just over. Let's come all the way up. And one more time, going down to center. Let's bring the legs together. Let's go over again. And come up to seated again. Yes, and over again. And coming up to seated. And you should be getting a little more limber each time. I'm sure you are. So let's go for one more time. And coming up all the way. Yes. All right, no more putting off the inevitable. Series of five. So here we go, we get back down to the back of the waist. And here we go, single leg stretch. Reach and reach, outside hand goes to the ankle inside the hand, so you're trying to get your chest up to your legs. Just one more each leg. Double leg stretch, inhale, exhale, bring it all in. Let's just do one more. Legs up for scissors. 
and we're going to reach and reach, trying to keep those legs nice and straight and trying to keep your chest up because this is all abs. And two and one. Let's reach both legs up. Now you can embrace the base of your skull right around the occipital ridge and inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, up. If you start feeling this into your back and out of your abs and, and it's in your back, then don't go down quite so low. Just one more. Legs back to the tabletop for crisscross and reach. And reach, reach. Reach, reach, and let's go four, three, and two, and one. And we did it. Yes. Let's really hug those knees and tightly stretch out that lower back. And hopefully your lower back feels just fine because you did everything with those deep abdominal layers. Yes. So let's just, let's just roll up to seated. And let's go into our spine stretch forward. And I'm gonna do it from the side. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, right on the tail. And we're gonna take an inhale, exhale, we'll lift that lower belly. And now we're going to reach forward with a big round back. We still have the scapula reaching down. Inhale, exhale, even deepen that lower belly and come to a nice, tall and stacked position. And I didn't mention, but have your feet flexed. Inhale, exhale, hollowing out the lower belly and reaching forward. Inhale, deepen that belly even more as you exhale, coming up to seated. Inhale, exhale, lift that lower belly. And let's reach forward. This time, let's move the arms by the ears as much as we can. And let's see how we can make our back as straight as possible. So the point is to have your heart reaching forward on the, mat, on the floor in front of your mat. And let's just pulse the heart forward. Gently. And three, two, and one. Good, let's bring the legs together and stretch out our wings. Let's take our hands right behind us and lift up. And now the right leg is going to go up for eight. And four, three, two, and one. The other leg is up. And four, three, two, and one. Put your seat down right between your hands and reach those arms out and let's just really stretch them out. The shoulders can elevate here. And now reach forward to your feet. Good one. So now let's come down into a prone position on our tummies. So let's do, today let's do our single leg kicks and double leg kicks. So we're gonna be on our forearms, elbows right under the shoulders, make little fists out of your hands. And we're gonna kick the bum, flex, point with the right, flex, point, flex, point. And your heart is reaching up and forward. Flex, point. Flex, point down, flex, point down, and one more flex, point down. Okay, now we're gonna do the double leg kicks. And these are three kicks, so face it, facial cheek down, we're gonna kick, 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 and extend, look straight down. Other side, kick, 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 and extend. And this cheek, two, kick, extend. One more side, kick, 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 extend. Good, let's try to keep the chest lifted. I don't have the best extension in the world, so 
do your best. It'll probably be better than mine. My right leg's gonna lift left arm and right arm left leg. Just so long as you feel those back extensors working and lift and lift. Now can we go into kind of a slow swim? Whoo! Now let's just reach our arms back, palms facing the sky, floating like an angel. <laughs> this angel wants to go back into a resting pose. Oh, nice stretch out for the back. Good. So now we're going to come back. And we're going to go into the corkscrew. So it's nice when you know the names. A lot of people don't. A lot of people, I and mean, some teachers may not tell you the names, but I, I find it very helpful to know what you're about to do, even if you don't really want to know. So let's roll all the way down. Overhead again, angle your right hip down. Let's roll down just the right side. Lower the legs to about 45, coming up the left side. And then straighten the hips out. Roll down just that left side. Lower those legs, move over onto the other hip and coming up. Good, straightening out. Back down the side, you just came up and reaching around. These are challenging, but they're good for everything. For the whole body is working on this and reaching around. Let's come up that side, straighten out. Good. Now let's just come up. And if you can, if you can do a teaser here, extra points for you. Whoops, that's mine. <laughs> so now let's go into the saw. So we're just going to reach here first, just because that feels good. Sitting up really tall, we're going to rotate to one side, flex over that leg. Now, stay over that leg, but come up into a straight back, back to center. So it's inhale, exhale, flexing. Inhale, straight back, exhale, back to center. And just one more. So that's a really good one. But if you have tight hamstrings, which a lot of men do, you may find it a little challenging. So if you have to bend a little bit, it's all good, just so long as you're working it. So what is it I was going to do next? No telling. Um, let's come down to our side. Let's come down. one uh, forearm and let's keep that shoulder down. Let's have the lower leg bent a little bit and the legs kind of forward. You're gonna flex that upper foot, put your hand behind your head and just reach up. And so if anything, the toes would be pointing downward and you want just the side of your foot reaching up as much as possible because we're just working the abductors, the outsides of the thighs and hips. Okay, now let's rotate outward and inward. Stirring the head of the femur around in the hip socket. Open, close, open, close. Now open, and we're going to reach up with the top of the thigh, hopefully somewhat reaching for the ceiling. Up, 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 and up, and up. Now back into internal rotation. We're going to kick, kick, and point behind you. Can you do this moving the torso as little as possible? And reaching behind, kick, kick, and point back, kick, kick, and point back, and one more, kick, kick, point back. Now put that leg down, but keep it turned out. Rotate your chest or the floor on both elbows. Back leg goes up. Six more. 
four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, flex foot reaches up for just eight. And four, three, two, and one. Let's extend that leg straight out. Let's come up onto your hands and go into a swan. Good. So here we go. Ready for the other side. But I didn't want the class to end without doing our side work. It's really important. So here we go. We're kind of at the back. Our legs are kind of at the front. Let's flex that upper, upper leg and reach it up. And reach it up to where you feel that contraction in your glute. Reach up. And four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to externally rotate that thigh. Internal. External, where the top of the thigh turns toward the ceiling. External rotation, internal, external, internal, open, close. Let's open one more time and reach up. Four, three, and two, and one. Now go back into that internal rotation. We're gonna kick, kick, and reach behind. And stability of the torso comes before range of motion. So only do this as far as you can keep stability. You'll continue to get more range of motion. That's a given as you do these. But first we want to get that good core stability. And last one here. Let's reach that leg behind. Let's rotate the upper body on your elbows and reach up. Six. Two and one. Bent knee up for eight. Four, three, and two and one. Place that leg back there inside of the foot. Point your toe if you want to make it pretty. And reaching up into a nice swan. Good work. Let's come down and just stretch out our hips. First, let's bring the knees into the chest. And then let's cross one ankle over the other knee, reach through that figure four. Press out on that inner thigh with your elbow if you can, in addition to bringing the position into your chest. Let's put the feet down, do the opposite leg. Left ankle over right knee and reaching through. One hip's always gonna be a little tighter than the other. Yes. Now bring the feet on the floor. Let's put the bottoms of the feet together in the open butterfly. Just try to let your knees hang. A stretch always works best if you can relax into it. And now, that was a good stretch, but let's undo it so we can stretch out our IT band, back of the right knee over the left, both knees to the right. Keep both shoulders down. Just press that left knee into the floor with your right leg. Bring the legs back to center, back of left knee over right. Let's bring both knees to the left and press that right knee right into the ground. Yes. So let's bring the knees in. Let's just roll up into a seated position. And I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed class. I did.